Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today I'm gonna be doing my second prop comparison of Cuddles vs. Underworld. <laughs> So let's get straight into it. So these are not exact reskins or remakes, but uh, they are very similar with that same look. And I don't think any other props actually have this face mold, but they obviously do have the same one. So we're gonna be comparing them because these are two that have some pretty uh, good opinions and pretty bad ones because they are very different than what we usually see. So first category is detail. They are both very detailed props. Let me just come over here to the faces. Um, they are just a bit different with the face, but it's super detailed. Underworld also has these awesome hands down here, super big. And he has a ton of that green creepy cloth. Also this huge chest and actually if I put my hand up to it. It is very big. He's got this huge rib cage and that is also where the sensor is. Moving on to cuddles. He's got this really nice detailed cloth for the clothing. It's got this pattern all over it. And the face, a bit different with the hair on the sides, different color for the mouth right here and different paint job. Also the hat up there. And then also with cuddles, we've got these little heads. All of them are just a bit different, different hair, different makeup. Then there's three over here like that. So they're both very detailed props. I'm not sure which one I like better, but I'm pretty sure Cuddles is the more detailed one here because of how much he has over here. Underworld, most of the detail is in the hand and the face. So yeah, Cuddles with that clothing detail, the face, those uh, five little skulls and the full head up here. I think he wins it for the detail. All right. On to the next one. Okay, so now with similarities. So the main similarity is that head. They've got the same head mold, bit different paint, but overall you can definitely tell they are the same. Um, and then also they've got that big nightmare style. Uh, very unique, not something we've really seen before at all. Uh, I definitely want them to use more of this mold because it looks super creepy. It's giant. Don't know if you guys know, but against a head or a hand, um, it's huge. It is a very big head. Uh, and Cuddles actually is a bit bigger because of the mouth. As you can see, Underworlds is kind of closed. Cuddles just hangs open like that. Uh, but they're both about the same size and they both uh, have that same look. So other than that, yeah, just that big nightmarish style. Not too many similarities, but you can see how they would fit well together. Uh, but yeah, that is the main similarities of these two. Okay, so now differences. Definitely some differences we can see here. So again, Cuddles has some more detail on him. If I go real up close to this, you can see all the detail on the cloth here. Uh, he's got shoes, which actually aren't as detailed as the hands here, but um, he's got the five heads up here and he's got a bit more detail with the green hair, which I do wish Underworld had some hair uh, and up there the little hat so more detail underworld over here though uh he is a lot overall bigger cuddles is obviously taller he is a very tall prop but underworld is a huge wide one a lot bigger than i was expecting so he i think measured is seven feet wide so he's a very wide prop so he is very big they're both pretty big props but yeah overall Cuddles is a bit smaller than Underworld. Uh, with height, yeah, Cuddles wins it, definitely. Party hat up here, I think is around eight feet and the hands go a bit higher up. So pretty big, Underworld I think is 6'3". So also a pretty tall one, just not as tall. So those are the main differences. Just a different look overall, of course. We've got the two giant arms on the sides. This one, they're kind of facing up and he does have legs. Underworld, I think, is supposed to be like halfway in the ground here. But yeah, those are main differences. Other than that, pretty much all of the mechanics in here are the same with the heads. And then just the movement is a bit different because Cuddles has that up and down arms. 
Underworld has the side-to-side -side arms. So yeah, those are the differences. Okay, so next is pros and cons. So we'll start with cuddles and move over to Underworld. So pros with cuddles. Definitely detail. We've got so much detail on here. We've got the five heads. Here's two of them up close. And they all have these great paint jobs. And up here, we've got these three. Bit different than the other side. Again, with the clothing, looks awesome. Uh, down here, that I'll talk about in a second. But here, another giant pro, that head. It's got even more detail than Underworld. It just looks really great. And a bit different of a paint job, which I do like this one better. You can see all these details a lot better on this one. So yeah, those are the pros. Just a super cool big prop. Uh, fits pretty much any clown theme or nightmarish theme. So cons about him, as I said, down here with those shoes. I said this in the last video, definitely don't like these shoes. They're that cheap plastic and they don't look too good because of that shine. You can really tell they are just a hollow plastic. Um, but other than that, he is really cool. I haven't seen any uh, like wearing down of him. I know Underworld, his mouth has uh, worn down a bit, but not too bad. Cuddles doesn't uh, have like any wear on him yet. That mouth hanging down a bit more, not sure why, uh, actually helps a lot. I do wish they did that with Underworld because it doesn't move as much uh, down. So it doesn't have as much pressure on it, meaning it won't break as fast. So yeah, those are the pros and cons of Cuddles. Moving on to Underworld. Pros, definitely this overall look. I think he looks a lot scarier and cooler than Cuddles. Just a crazy cool design. Definitely very unique. Nothing I've seen really looks like this guy. Just super cool. Super cool like design down here. It's got those arms kind of pushing on the ground, looking like he's coming out. And here he is up here, here's his head. Looks great, super cool. Definitely a very big prop. That's a big pro about this guy. He is way bigger than I ever expected. So other than that, he doesn't have as much detail, but still is a pretty detailed one. Showing the head again, the rib cage down here. It's got some nice paint and those hands. They're also very big hands, put my hand next to it. It is a huge hand and I don't think it is like that cheap hollow plastic. It's more like the top of the head. They're pretty good quality hands. So those are the main pros. Cons about him is definitely the quality. These arms have little foam around them, but um, if I try to show this under here, uh, I can't really show it too well, but as you can see, it's just not much metal at all. Right there, it's super thin metal. So it's uh, easy to break. Uh, I actually had this arm break already. So it's not great quality. The head seems okay other than what I was talking about earlier with that mouth wear. Doesn't seem to happen too fast because we had him on all Halloween night and didn't matter too much. It has worn down just a bit, but not too much at all. Uh, but other than that, quality, not much else is a big con about this guy. He is really big, so you do want to measure him out first just to make sure he fits. But yeah, those are the main pros and cons about Underworld. Okay, so pros and cons of both of them together. So they aren't too similar, so they definitely have more of their own pros and cons, but just that head is the main similarity. So pros, really just that detail. They both have some great detail, some of the best I think these might be my favorite of the clown heads they make just because of how awesome they look and how giant they are. Uh, but yeah, they are both giant props, definitely a big pro. Uh, another pro, their setups are actually pretty easy. Underworld's is a bit harder, but Cuddles, pretty, pretty simple. And Underworld isn't too bad, definitely not one of the hardest. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple setups too. Cons, uh, another one that could be a pro, the size, uh, they are very, very big props. So you wanna make sure you have a nice measured big space for them to fit in because they are huge. And so are their boxes. Their boxes are also very big. Cuddles actually has a box about the same size as the Lumen Clown and uh, Lumen Ghoul. Underworld's box is probably about the same, but it's a lot longer. So he's got one 
that would probably go from like here to here and it's about the same height so it's a big box so yeah storage issues might be a big deal with these guys because of how big they are okay so the last main difference is definitely the price so cuddles i think spirit has the best deal on him with 280 minus a discount so you can probably get him for a bit cheaper so especially around halloween time they've got some 25 percent off so you can get him a bit cheaper and then underworld i actually didn't know this but walmart actually sells them for only 240 dollars free shipping so i'm pretty sure they'd be around the same price once you have a coupon for cuddles but yeah they have about the same price but without a coupon, yeah, Cuddles is just a bit more expensive, which makes sense because of his height and just the more detail. But yeah, those are the prices. All right, so I had to move him a bit because his movement is crazy. It is a giant prop, but let's do the demo of Cuddles first and then we'll move on to Underworld. All right, he's on sensor mode, so we'll sensor him and we'll do a few of his phrases. Okay, so now we'll do the demo of Underworld Clown. So he's also on sensor mode, so we'll have to sensor him, but we'll go through a few of his phrases. Okay, so now we'll demo them both together. So that was the second prop comparison of Underworld Clown versus Cuddles the Clown. So yeah, they are both very cool. I definitely recommend them both. Uh, they definitely have some pros and cons about each of them. But yeah, they are super cool props. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.